Now, are you ready to see the Living Chinese app? If you have downloaded the app, you can open it with us. If you don't have it right now, don't worry. This webinar is recorded, and the video will be uploaded later. Okay, let's start. This is the front page of the app. When you open the app, you can see the main contents here. Don't worry if you can't understand the Chinese. Here is the translation panel: English, Urdu, Hindi, and Nepali. Press the language you like, and you can see the translation. Throughout the app, you can see it in the content page and the main text. Very nice, huh? So here you can see the main free session: Me and my family, school life, everyday life. Each sessions will have ten topics, and the other two sessions here we will come back later. So now let's see me and my family. Here are the ten topics. These are those we released recently, and this yummy is the latest one. Let's click on yummy. Here are three story in this topic. Level one is very easy. Level two is easy, and level three is medium. Let's read level one as an example. First of all, let's take a look at the icons around. The navigation is quite simple. At the bottom, here are two buttons for turning pages. Inside this circle is the page number. It is also the tool button. If you click on it, it opens the toolbar. The first one is the content. You can see all the pages here inside this book. And if you want to jump to any page, you can click on the icon and then click confirm. Like this. The third one is the answer button. When you go to the exercise page, like this one. And if you don't know the correct answer. You can cheat. Click on this button; it will show you the correct answer. But don't use it too much. Okay, so we go back to this page, and here is the translation button, just like the one we have shown you before. And then the last one is the exit button. When you want to close the book or jump to another book. You can close it here. Okay, the introduction end. Can't wait to read the story. Look at the illustration. That boy is facing a bunch of fruits. Seems not happy. Guess what the story is about? When you read the story with the children, you can also ask them questions, leading them to think and to guess. In the story, we have comics, pictures, and animations. Use them as a tool. Let them to get into the story. Like how many fruits here? Do you know all of them? Something like that. You can read the translation using the panel here. And press again. It will close the translation. Press the headphone icon here. You can listen to the Cantonese read aloud. 弟弟不喜欢吃水果。You can also click or select any word here, like this one. You can see the stroke order animation here, and also you can listen to the pronunciation. 对 You can select a whole word with two words. It means like, and listen to the pronunciation. 喜欢 ，and we have the explanation here in Chinese. We also have the English translation. Just press here, and the second one is English. So it means like. The orange tag is something special. Here, this is the main vocabulary in this story. 
we put four languages here, sometimes with pictures, to help students understand the content. Later, we will have exercise for this word. Okay, let's continue. I don't like to eat apple. I don't enjoy oranges. I don't like watermelons and pears. So the mother asked, I know you do not like eating fruits, but what about fruit candies? Yeah, 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 yeah. the boy is really happy. Please give me some. So the sister asked, Mom, are these really fruit candies? No, they are just guys' fruits just like candies. Okay, the story stops here. Notice here we have two types of tests. High little yellow ones is the main vocabulary we've just said. And the orange one here, we've started highlighting. These are the important words to the story, but not listed in the main vocabulary. It would be easier for children to understand the story if they understand these words. So we put the English translation here and sometimes with pictures. Okay, this is the end of the story part. If your children feel it is difficult to read the Chinese, try listening to the read aloud or even read the translation. Let them feel comfortable in the reading, take the time. After they get the story and also the words, so we can move on to the questions. Just make sure they are happy to read the story. After all, if they lose their interest, they won't keep going, right? Here we come to the question part. Usually, we have two to five questions about the story to see if they understand the content or not. The questions are written in Chinese. If they can't understand that, you can ask your children in your language. You can also click here to make sure the read aloud button is on and to click on the questions. 根據故事內容,完成問題 in this app, we have different types of exercise. Like this are multiple choice questions. You just need to click on the correct answer. The little animation icon here on the top right corner is indicating what you need to do. So this one is indicating these are multiple choice questions. After answering the question, Click on the big blue button to submit your answer. 不如再答多次啊? The app will auto-check the answers and show the correct answers. Like this one is correct. This one is wrong. The correct answer should be this. And this one is wrong. The correct answer should be this. Then we can move on to the language exercise. We have exercise for vocabulary sentence structure and speaking. Not every story have all these three sessions. It depends. Like this story, we have vocabulary and sentence structure. Let's have a look at some more exercise. This is an exercise to learn vocabulary. Here indicates that you need to record your voice. Press the brown button to listen to the pronunciation and then press the red button to record your pronunciation. 蘋果 蘋果 The app recognizes your pronunciation and show the word you've just said. If it is correct, it's green. If it is incorrect, it's red. You can try again. 橙果 So obviously, I just said the first word incorrectly. So this one will be red. And the second word, I said it right. So it's green. And the percentage will be just 50%. So you can try it again and again until you got the correct answer. 蘋果 
skip some pages to the page 12. This is a line matching. Simple, right? Join the points together with a line. Oh, this is not correct. If you draw it wrong, draw again, drag it, and then you release so that you can cancel the knife and redraw it again. Okay, this one, this one. Remember to click the submit button to check the answers. The incorrect answers are in red, the correct answers are in green. In this app, when you check your answers, all the green one is correct and the red one is incorrect. After a few more exercises, here we come to the page 15. Oh, this is the Know It More session. Here you can have some more knowledge related to the story. Like this page, you introduce more fruit. Click on this voice button, you can listen to the pronunciation. Ying Next question is a dread drop question. Dread a word or picture to the correct area. In this case, drag all the fruits to the box. Remember to click the submit button. Now in this case, you know they have something right and something wrong here. So it is a cake with a little bit like a cross. But if you really don't know what is the correct answer, remember we have a show answer button here. Now it will show you the correct answer. Here we come to the sentence structure. These are the sentences that come from the story. This is the sample, showing how to join two sentences using AND. Like this one, I don't like apple, I don't like orange. So in this sentence we join together, I don't like apple and orange. And here's the practice. Oh yeah, And maybe more samples. This icon indicates that it is a sound recording exercise. You have two sentences here, and then you have to join it into one sentence. Press here, you can record your voice. When you finish recording, you can play it again. The recorder cannot auto check the answer, but don't worry, we have given you a reference answer or hints here. You may even listen to the pronunciation. Hooray! We have finished the whole book. Over this page, we have the fresh cards. Or you can say it is a copy book. In the fresh card, you can see the main vocabulary in this book. And also here is the picture. Below the word, we also provide the Cantonese pinyin. There are two sound buttons beside it. The upper one is in spoken Chinese. The lower one is in written Chinese. Click it to listen to the pronunciation. If this icon turns gray, it means the spoken Chinese is the same as written Chinese. Try to crack on these words. Each word will have its stroke order animation. You can watch the animation and after that 
write it on the right hand side. If you write it 100% correctly, it will give you a pause, which the children really love it. You can clear it and write it again. However, if you write it incorrectly like this, it will indicate that you have to write this stroke first. Now you cannot get 100% correct. The fresh cut session is the last session in this book. Now we can click the exit button on the top right corner. In every topic, we have three levels. Each one has its own story. These stories are in format of comics, animation, and storybooks. Usually, the level one and two are in comics or animation, and level three, because it is more advanced, will be in storybook. The one you have seen is a comic, and the storybook is quite similar to a comic, just more words. Let's have a look at the animation. We go back and choose another topic. This one will have an animation. Nisha 這個鼻子是誰的? 我有辦法。Is the story funny? You can watch the animation first. They have the subtitles in Chinese. After finished watching, you can see the storybook version of the story. Turn the page. Just like reading a storybook, you can read with your children, describe the pictures, or ask them questions about the pictures. When it comes to the main test, you can see the translation panel, the main vocabulary, and the functions here is just the same as the other books. You can listen to the pronunciation. 这双手是谁的? Please note that the pronunciation here is in written Chinese. It is the same as the sentence here. However, in the animation, the characters speak in spoken Chinese. So after your children understand the story and the sentence, you can play the animation again, let them get used to the difference between spoken Chinese and written Chinese. So now you have a concept of how the storybook looks and how to use it. Let's go back to the front page. Next to the three big sessions here, there is a special session called Experiential Learning. This one. Different from the main topics, 
This topic is aimed at having some real life experience. We will have 10 books in this topic, like going to wet market, going to library, something like that. Most of them are practical. Also, we have some books introducing places in Hong Kong, which is suitable for the whole family to go to, like going to the beach, to Hong Kong Park. You can take the app with you, walk through the places in the story, and do the exercise while visiting. Let's click on the one to wet market. The boy in this story going to wet market with his mother. Today they go to the market called Pei Ho Street Market. In between the story, we have exercise to encourage children to go outside to see and to experience. For example, this one asking the name of the wet market which is near your home and take a photo of it. So at least you need to know where the wet market is near you, right? So the story continues introducing the food stalls in the wet market. Click on this button to hear the words. Hai Xin At the magnifier can give you more information. The story goes on and more practice. So chai. Chai dong. Remember there's some more information to help chai you answer the questions. Shun tao. This one, you have to record your answer, listen to the pronunciation, and then record your own pronunciation. Oh, this is the heat. So if you have to ask, how much is this, how much is that? So it's the Chinese version of asking it. And that's the end of the book. These stories are not very long. They aim at practicing Chinese in daily life and also let the children to see different places in Hong Kong. Therefore, these stories don't have levels. Just feel free to use it when you want some activities with your children. These are all four sessions in the Lisping Chinese app. In these three sessions, we have 10 topics. And each topic has three books. So we have 90 books here. And for the experiential learning, there are 10 books. So we have 100 books in total. Hooray! Here is the last icon, which is the vocabulary bank. You can choose your level. And here you can revise the vocabulary in all the stories. Just like the main test in the story, click on the orange test and it will show you the four languages translation. And also click here, you can hear the pronunciation. Pingguo. If you click the word, you can see the stroke order. And also, if you click the pen icon here, you can write the word. It's just like the one in the first card. Here are all the contents in the Living Chinese app. Are you excited to try it yourself? <laughs>